People ought to dig that up online. You can find references to that if you think I'm joking. But, but I'm honored by something like that because I am trying to promote the defense of this republic and the real ideals of America that have never been fully realized but have been revolutionary for this planet in many good ways. But so much of human destiny stands and falls with what happens in the new republic or what the elite see as the new Atlantis here in North America. And that's their own research, not mine. Look into it. We carry several films that break down what Francis Bacon and others uh, thought they were going to do in the new world. Before I go to our guest who's had a big free speech victory, uh, just remember this hour is brought to you by the best storable foods folks out there that I've found, non-GMO, great customer service. They are MyPatriotSupply.com and you put a forward slash A-L-E-X, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find their special page and get the discounts or give them a call at 866-229-0927. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. You don't want to be dependent on the system. And then also remember, we're funded and uh, supported by viewers and mainly listeners. We're mainly a radio show like you out there. And we have two new best-selling T-shirts. These are the best sellers ever. We have the women's and women's cut uh, gold foil sprayed on look with a Spartan helmet, two M4s crossed. Uh, and it says Molon Lambe with Infowars.com under it. On the back, it says Infowars.com in Greek lettering. There's another version that just says Infowars.com with the Molon Lambe symbol that I developed. Uh, and with the Victory Crest, it, it, I think it's the best shirt we've ever made. And listeners think so. Best-selling T-shirt ever. Even more than the Mass Murderers Agree gun control shirt that I designed uh, 16, 17 years ago. We still sell that original shirt. It's available at InfoWarsStore.com. But if you want to find the apparel area, it's MadeIn1776.com. That will take you right to the subpage on InfoWarsStore.com to find all of the great Made in America clothing, belt buckles, uh, Navy Seal made bottle breachers. Find out what those are. The new Liberty or Death shirt, the Made in America golf shirts that say Made in 1776, the 1776 ball caps. A great way for the sports fans to go, hey, what team is that? Oh, it's Team America, the real America, not the globalist America. We've got the join or die shirt. We've got the I'm mad as hell, not going to take it anymore, 1776 with George Washington. Uh, it's all available. And by the way, it's all limited edition. We run with these designs for six months, and then they're gone. No more produced. So we're almost out of the belt buckles and a bunch of other items that if you don't get them now, you'll never get the uh, answer 1984, 1776 towards Washington. And your support makes this transmission possible. We also have InfoWarsLife.com for the life-changing, in my case, certainly, uh, supplements that you've heard such rave reviews about. Now, you are voting with your dollars through Free, free Association. We appreciate your support. And then this broadcast becomes a platform for all the activists and artists and people that are being censored, people that are under attack, to really be a beachhead or a fulcrum or a, or a, 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 a lensing, uh, amplifying system for others that are doing a great job, in many cases, better job than I and even my fabulous team. I mean, all of us together have different gifts, have different skills. And so I am here with you today to celebrate another victory. Free Speech t-shirt maker threatened by NSA, DHS, fights back with lawsuit. And uh, you saw the guy handing out pot constitutions in California, fined and arrested. He just won a $50,000 settlement. Well, now NSA Homeland Security withdraws their complaints against companies, parodies, but he's moving forward. And, and so now uh, our guest has had a victory, NSA Homeland Security, set a lawsuit uh, with the uh, Patriot, the Sock Rapids man, over satirical business. And, 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 and clearly he can show the NSA logo and change it and you know, have the eagle listening to you, and clearly it's a parody, and clearly it's the most protected form of speech. You know, I say it's a beautiful day, that's protective speech, but if I say the government is run by a bunch of degenerate scum who are out of control and need to be arrested, that's the most protected form because it's political speech. Go check the rulings. And Dan McCall joins us of LibertyManiacs.com. And I bet by them coming after him and him suing them and all his attention, let me just guess, Dan, I bet you're selling 10 times the apparel you were previously. 
Hey, Alex, great to be on your show. Thanks for having me on. Good to talk with you again. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the, the funny thing about this. Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, no one would have heard of, uh, a lot of people wouldn't have heard of Liberty Maniacs or Dan McCall or anything like that uh, without the sort of stupid thing that happened with, with the government and the, the, the really uh, silly choices that they made over the past year, or actually longer than that. Uh, but yeah, so that's, I, I've, I've learned about something called the Barbara Streisand effect, where uh, evidently in, in, in the internet, uh, she, uh, she, she's trying to take stuff down and she was trying to, uh, when, when some stuff was drawn attention to her and she, uh, she ended up making a fuss about it and it, and it uh, caused a fuss that everyone noticed. So <laughs> it's one of those things where, uh, where, yeah, I, I, I've been happy to, uh, to take the, uh, to take a little bit of the notoriety for it in this case, because it's, it's kind of, uh, it's highlighted some of the stupid choices that they're making and continue to make. I love that poster you designed behind you. It says, look like you've had a little too much to think with the police officer <laughs> coming over. And, you know, nothing against uh, the guy that did all the obey stuff, but that was all coming from a leftist communist position. And, you know, there's so much other libertarian or conservative or just common sense, uh, just pro-liberty stuff that really didn't even have a political bent. That's so much more expressive. You know, it's, it's like, oh, Bush is a tyrant, but Obama's going to save us. I like your stuff because it's across the board. Well, appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things years ago, it was over a decade when I went into this, it was it was something where it's as simple as me looking around and not seeing the type of art and this sort of merchandise that I wanted to see necessarily. Uh, so I decided to to kind of jump in and do it myself. You know, a lot of there's a lot of great out, uh, art out there um, for people from all different perspectives. The stuff that I try to focus on is stuff that, you know, number one, I truly believe. And number two, stuff that I just don't see out there in the art world, like uh, like right now, I've got at the Docs uh, Docs Museum of Fine Art in in uh, in Prague. Actually, right now is a, is a show that's running some of my stuff, and and I was kind of going through the catalog of all these posters over the past hundred years. It goes from 1914 to 2014, and uh, there's there's not a lot that it kind of holds the same sort of ideological perspective as the ones that that I put out there. So um, I definitely think that there was you know it, along with you, you have a ton of merchandise out there and stuff. Uh, you know, it, there, it was it was time to sort of uh, uh, bring another perspective to the, you know. Oh, no, that's it. I mean, what you're doing is what I've been trying to do, uh, you know, even before you came along. And we're doing it with some success now. No one's just a pro-liberty 1776. I want all my freedom now. Take your labels and cram them down a toilet. Right. Uh, look at the police state around us. Look at everything. The globalists are genius in making rebellion right wing or communist. And people teaming up on a fake ideology, that's how they control you. I definitely think so. You know, a lot of it is, in this whole label thing that you bring up is true. Um, it's, it's so shallow. So much of this stuff is shallow. There's not much thinking behind it. And one thing that I wanted to press forward is to sort of, you know, in terms of like this thing that I got in trouble with with the NSA. You know, simple truths. People are, are pretty smart generally. They, 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 get, uh, they get some of these jokes. They're, 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 they're fairly uh, questionable when it, uh, questioning when it comes to authority and government and stuff like that. And we tap into that uh, with, with the site. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of questions that we live in remarkable times right now. Uh, so much going on, so many questions of liberty, so many things that, that, that we're dealing with as young people, old people and, and people trying to, uh, to, to for, sort of fight for our rights. And uh, it's just a, it's it, there's so much material out there that, that people don't use, it seems like that in art and in, in design. So um, I just try to kind of focus in my own little way sure. on doing that. Well, yeah. it's not, and again, you were already reaching a lot of people very successful. They come after you. It's all over the news. I noticed it wasn't all over the news when you won your lawsuit. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, it, it, it for a while. I think when we when we started the case uh, and when it started to have these problems, and the, and I found out about the cease and desist orders, uh, people just were having a hard time believing it <laughs> in the beginning. They thought it was. You know, it, they were having a hard time, even you know, journalists and such, uh, looking at it, going, "Why does that? Is that true?" You know, when we finally filed the suit in federal. Uh, in, in federal court, then it was, you know, it was apparent to everyone that, that this actually had taken place and we were taking it seriously. Uh, it's been a, a little bit different since I won. Uh, I think it's one of these things where uh, because it was in court and people were aware of it, uh, the, the information came out and the support uh, has been enormous. So, um, yeah, it's been interesting since. Uh, we well, yeah, no, no, no. Listen, the media likes it whenever you look like you were in trouble. And so they carried it. Oh, yeah, let's censor his speech. Let's have a chilling effect. Now that you beat them, they don't want that to be known. 
because that shows it was illegitimate. But, but you're also fighting cognitive dissonance that you mentioned. People take a double take. You mean the, the government's trying to stop parodies of it? No, that, this is America. That's not going on. That's why it's important that you resisted so that you then got the pushback. And, of course, you weren't naive, but the public got to see the tyrants we're dealing with. Then you pushed back, you won. See, it's a process, folks. You've got to push so they push back to show people that they're really tyrants. Then you can morally defeat them. But if we all just go, oh, we're not in a tyranny, they can then move forward and take over. In, in that vacuum, nature abhors it. We have to then take over the vacuum. And they're going to fight us for the vacuum, but we have the moral high ground. We will beat them. The only way we fail, as history has shown, is by not resisting. The only way tyrants succeed is when good people do nothing.